It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. On today's program, we are inviting another guest DJ to be in charge of the day's programming. And today, it is Alistair, who is our guest DJ. And Alistair has selected a song from the band Threshold. It is called The Man Who Saw Through Time. And I'm excited to get into this because not only have I not heard anything from Threshold before, I hadn't heard of this band before Alistair alerted me to their presence. So they are a prog metal band from England that formed all the way back in the late 80s, y'all. And like many bands, they started uh, as a cover band and eventually grew into writing and performing their own material. So uh, by the time we get to this song, The Man Who Saw Through Time, it comes from their 11th album, which is called Legends of the Shires. And uh, keyboardist Richard West described the entire album as a concept album about a nation trying to find itself. And I think that's in reference to the Brexit referendum uh, that was passed in 2016 in the United Kingdom, where a slight majority of folks there voted to leave the European Union. That was in 2016. This album came out in 2017. And they're from Britain, so I think they were reacting to some of the political goings-on uh, of the time. Uh, it's a long album, a double album with 14 songs, and this one is the longest on the album. So I'm, I'm pumped to get into this, y'all. I'm always up for bands that are new to me, and they come highly recommended. We've got Glenn Morgan on vocals. He is returning to the band for the first time as vocalist in about 20 years uh, with this recording. Uh, Carl Groom is on guitars. Richard West is on keyboards. Steve Anderson is on the bass, and Johanna uh, James is on the drums. So let's get to it, y'all. The man who saw through time from the band Threshold. Off we go. Is that a frog? Or somebody that smoked for too long? I think it's just a radio signal. Ooh. Turning into gibberish a bit. To piano, to clean piano. Third. We could see the future from this moment to the end. Sounds like four to one. If he found the place New five. From where to view Interesting, y'all. With a heart to comprehend. Bump sounds like one. But every time he tries, it feels about is jumping into space. They're all over the place, aren't they? Held There's a third inversion, the seventh chord, then to a first inversion, minor chord. To that place. Two to five. A filter he Lovely. To a one, a major seven, to a major four. Check out that descending fifth progression and a chromatic third again. We're just going all through the years he has in store curiosity now overflowing sounds like four, to find the door to one and everything he knew for me thought okay that was sold of dough Bum, bum. 
Um, that's a new 5 to 1. section and I think they they landed in C sharp it makes me really interested in the whole concept y'all this is a double album that is a fully told story and the soundscapes here are quite inviting, aren't they? Cool. It was a long and strong night. Fascination filled his sight. As he gazed on all that still to come. Anything should not be seen Unless they choose to be Will you find the place to view them from? Cool. And now his eyes, his eyes Will open wide How he cried at all the pain How we closed Reminds me of some music that I've heard from Arion. Also reminds me of music that I've heard from Nightwish. These progressive metal bands that are also almost on you know, the symphonic level as well. But now he knew too much, the man who saw through time. Cried at all the pain, he glowed at his success. He watched his life unfolding, he hid from all the shame. He laughed when he was blessed, his lows and highs beholding. Uh, that now he knew too much. He relaxed and soon forgot all the struggles that would take him rest. That he saw was darker than before, so he went to found the door again. Sounds like a major four chord that they land on. And now his eyes, his eyes were open wide. How he cried at all he saw. I'm not sure where this fits in, in the story, what our protagonist is doing, if he is working on the side of good or on the side of evil, if, uh, I'm not sure. This is interesting, y'all. Face stepping down by step, they're using their um, inversions.
great San Solo. Symmetrical nine through in there. Six, seven, eight. So back to eight. We've had great sense, we've had great guitars. Join it. One, six. Three to four to one. It's definitely Impressive, and it's definitely got metal in there as well, y'all. I love these bands that have this synergy of a combination of these uh, established styles. That resolves up to the B. C sharp. Up to D. Up to the E. That sounds like the D is a four. Sequential pattern I wasn't expecting. All the things he dreamt and loved. All the things that he thought he'd done, all the things he would become, all the things he dreamt and loved were ripples on the tide. Time is fickle, y'all. And I wonder if this is a nice epic section here. I wonder if he's just learning more about history and being able to tie together observations and that's how he's seeing through time or if it's actually just a fantastical story where he actually is like a time traveler. I don't know. This is rad. third move after all of that. Working harder than before You've heard this before, this comes back. And find the other one he saw And every time it hurts then it turns out, yeah. Okay, well, Alistair, that was fun. It was a fun, uh, listen, a lot going on in there. Man, they, they can they, they covered most of the, the, of the notes, didn't they? Uh, the last lines in the, in, the, um, in the text, back at home he made a bold decision working harder than before to obliterate that second vision and find the other one that he saw. Uh, and every time it hurt or felt a little worse, the more he fought the tide. Every time it hurt or felt a little worse, the more he fought against it. He fought the tide. So maybe he will fulfill greater stories still, the man who saw through time. Makes me want to figure out more about this guy who saw through time. 
uh, and about this uh, about this band Threshold. This that that was really fascinating. I mean, they're from the UK. I hear elements of classic prog. I hear elements of classic metal, and and it's a really good synergy. I really really enjoyed that. I had never heard of this band before, y'all. That's one of the the, the great things about doing this. Uh, channel and about having these guest DJs come in and say this is one that's not on your radar at all but I think you'll like it and I think this time Alistair was correct so I'll leave you with this and speaking about the album as a whole uh, guitarist Carl Groom said in a in an interview that was right about the time where this came out um, he said that the album is about our place in the world both politically and personally to that end it's really a dual concept album, which is what gave us such inspiration to write the lyrics. As a political side, you could take it as a country or nation finding its way in the world and all the difficulties that come with that. England's place in Europe was vaguely an inspiration. I was right. I supposed from all of that that happened last year. So he's referring to that Brexit vote that happened, in, I think, in the summer of 2016 and then he goes on to say on a personal level it's much the same sort of thing but looking at your thoughts of things as you wish you had not done just a journey through life someone finding their way in the world it's all about discovery that's one th common thread that i hear so much in these prog songs these longer prog songs they are um songs about learning about uh, realization about finding meaning in what's going on all around us uh, and it's a really cool uh, thing to uh, to speak on so I quite enjoyed that Alistair thank you for this the first time that I have ever heard any music from the band Threshold and I very much enjoyed it so thank you to Alistair for being our guest DJ today and thanks to all of you for being with me for this episode that is all for today we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.